second by second, you lose the opportunity to become the person you want to be. But if you're lazy, man, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to deal with you. You're going to make me feel dumb. I am the greatest. Or my level. I don't think so. Go over there. I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now, you put water into a cup. It becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Hey, yo, what's up? It's your boy, Sean Fit, tapping back in with another one. If you got a good jab, go ahead and hit that subscribe button real quick. Let's get into it. No days off till it pay off. Let's get it. Best three fun combination. People always ask me about my most important fight. I had trained my whole life for this. When I went pro, I only asked for one thing, the championship fight. Everything I done, every sacrifice, every drop of sweat was for this moment. But then, I lost. But from losing, I learned. And from learning, I grew. He might be the best boxer that's ever lived. There's one thing all great boxers have in common, and that's understanding the fundamentals, mastering the basics. Loma is one of my favorite boxers to study. He has a unique way of displaying the sweet science. He has skills that you're not just born with. It comes from hours on top of hours of practicing. Becoming great at anything in life comes from relentlessly focusing on the small details. In this class, I'm going to break down some of the mechanics to help better understand the work that he does. Pay attention to Lomachenko's foot positioning. He is always balanced. He never throws punches from an unbalanced position. His feet plants wide, but not too wide to where he is unable to move swiftly on offense or defense. Loma's stance allows him to duck and roll shots with ease. As he ducks under the hooks, he makes his body a smaller target with his hands protecting the sides of his head just in case he doesn't clear the punch all the way. To establish balance, it's important to have a strong base and maintain a strong core. In order to do this, I need you to locate your center, so start by standing straight up. Now feel yourself in a balanced state. Now feel the difference by putting yourself in a balanced position and an unbalanced position. Loma is also good at smothering his opponent's punches. He just brings his body in closer to where the opponent's shot selection is very limited.
Think with your feet. Move with your feet. Punch with your feet. Think with your lower half first. If you think with your upper body first, you will always be thrown off balance. Your feet should always face where you want your body to go. If I'm throwing straight punches, my feet are pointed more in that direction. If I'm throwing hooks, my feet are turning as my body turns. Squat down or sit down in your stance for a strong base and to generate more power. Everything should come from the ground. Some good tips to note to help you with your balance. Shadow boxing. Start nice and slow. Try to keep good form and technique when throwing your punches. Make sure your feet are set right and make sure your nose isn't passing over your knee. The duck and roll. The objective of boxing is to hit and not get hit. So ultimately we wanna make our opponent miss and then make them pay. How to duck and roll or bob and weave. The defensive response to the left or right hook is squatting down in a U-shaped position with your legs, eyes always focused on your opponent, rolling under the opponent's punch. You can drill this in front of a mirror, but I want you to visualize a punch coming towards your head, squat down low enough to where your legs make a 90 degree angle and roll under the punch. I want you to repeat this drill in front of a mirror for three 30 second rounds and see how you do. Take it nice and slow, focus on your technique, visualize the punches coming towards your head. Now that we made our opponent miss by ducking and rolling under the hooks, now we want to practice responding with the jab. If you notice Loma, after he duck and rolls, he pivot shuffles his feet to get at an angle of his opponent to where he can hit and not be hit. So as we duck and roll, we create an angle using our feet. We add in two jabs. Paying attention to the cadence of the punches as they fire to make sure we are pushing our bodies to match the response time of Lomachenko's. What is cadence? It's a tempo in which the shots are thrown. As you hear Loma's fists hit the pads, I want in your mind to try to duplicate that tempo. Here's a quick recap of everything we went over today. Number one, balance is everything. From a balanced stance, everything else has the ability to flow. Number two, practice the mobility drill daily if possible to build the muscle memory necessary to perform at the highest levels. Number three, punch with your feet. Your feet should always face where you want your body to go. Sit down on your punches. Speed and power comes from the ground, so connect with the ground. Number four, duck and roll. Remember the goal is to hit and not get hit. Respect the sweet science. Thanks for watching guys. Please leave your thoughts down in the comment section. Save this video to a playlist to have access to it when you need it. I'm working hard day and night to bring more and more content to you guys. Have any boxers that you think I should add to the masterclass list? Let me know below. Like I always say, no days off till it pay off. A day off is a day lost. Let's get it.